Cesium-137 is radioactive and changes into barium-137 by a beta emission. Note that the nucleon number on each side of the equation is the same and the total proton number on each side of the equation is the same. In effect, a neutron is split to become a proton and an electron. In fact, two particles are emitted at the same time. A fast-moving electron, which is beta particle, and a neutrino. This neutrino is an electron type anti-neutrino. There is in fact a brief intermediate stage. It is a W- boson that is emitted from the neutron, which in turn splits into the electron and anti-neutrino. Analyzing this more closely, it is one of the quarks within the neutron that has changed. The up and one of the down quarks remain the same, but one of the down quarks is transformed into an up quark. This change can be illustrated in a Feynman diagram. If you're not familiar with those, then there is another video with supporting notes to help the explanation. An example of positron emission is when sodium-22 changes to neon. In this case, the number of protons is reduced and transforms to a neutron by a positive emission. The change from neutron to proton requires a significant amount of energy which has to be gained from the binding energy of the remainder of the atom. As before, two particles are emitted, a positron and an electron neutrino. And as before, there is an intermediate stage of a W plus boson, which very quickly breaks down to produce the positron and the neutrino. The change in the quark balance is the reverse of the previous example. The up quark and one of the down quarks remains the same, but here, an up quark is transformed to a down quark. The Feynman diagram illustrates the total process. Thank you for watching. Supporting notes are available from the website. Mm -hmm.